Dr. Bishop. There's something between Diana and Matthew that is otherworldly. They are supposed to be together. It's nice that when he's standing on the bridge, she comes underneath. As an opening shot, it's rather special, I think. It's destiny. When he first meets her, his only consideration is he wants the book of life. Diana, it's not just me who wants it. Word is spreading. It might be safer for you if the creatures of Oxford knew that it was no longer in your possession. Is that a threat? No. There's something about him that she can't stop thinking about. Are you stalking me? You know, he's charismatic and he's handsome and all these things, but there's just something she can't explain with words. I love that it's like her body knows before she does, and it's having all these crazy feelings. Even though I should be afraid of this person, I know he's not gonna hurt me. She sees sides of him that would scare the bejesus out of other people and is quite chilled. And believes in him, yeah. It's that very rare quality that you find in that soulmate, and they're these twin flames that just have to be together. You're craving her. It's not something that Miriam hasn't seen before. I think she spots the signs very early on that Matthew is falling for Diana. He comes to really admire her and see that she, like himself in many ways, doesn't judge other species and is willing to almost at times sacrifice herself. And the more that she opens herself up to him, the more he starts to unravel, and they just organically start coming together. And then once they're together, they're really bound for life. The themes that run through the book definitely are intolerance and prejudice, because it's something that's very important to Deb in the novel, and that was something that we really wanted to, to tap into, and I think the creatures do that beautifully. Your father set up the congregation to avoid drawing human attention to us and to keep peace amongst the species. Your brother has broken that peace. A witch and a vampire are not supposed to be together. Your family affairs are compromising all of us. You can bring disrepute onto a family to find out that you've been mixing and fraternizing with uh, somebody else from a different species. Hey, Sarah. What are you doing? Hanging around with a vampire. Their racism is creature interaction. It's showing a mirror, in a sense, to what we're doing in our own society as human beings. But it's just showing it from a different point of view, and maybe people will think about that. I'm not going to call it up for you. Why not? Because I don't happen to like the idea of uncreating other species. They would do exactly the same to us. Intolerance just will not work for us to coexist. We still want basically the same thing, love. Respect. On this moment, we will always be one. And that's what we all want. And that's what you'll get from Discovery of Witches, that against such poisonous, cynical view of existence. I love you. There's this flower that will grow, and we will hope that it survives and, and wins through.